Hey everyone, it's Ellen from Rhapsody Music Lessons, and I've got some of my younger students who really want to learn some Taylor Swift music. And so I've got a Taylor Swift book. I picked this up on Amazon, and this is super easy, super easy songbook. Now what this book does is it gives you chords. I don't know if you can see them, but up here, this is what your left hand would be playing. And it shows you exactly where to place your fingers for the chords. And this first song in the book is called All Too Well. So what your left hand is going to be doing is this. This is, called, this is a C chord, and you're going to be playing it in this position. This is an inverted C chord. So you've got a G on the bottom, a C in the middle, and an E on top. There's your C chord. Your next chord is a G chord. All you have to do is move your top two fingers down one key each, keeping your pinky on G. There's your G chord. Now your A minor chord, you, you're going to move your thumb down to C, your pointer down to A, and your pinky down to E. That's also what they call an inverted chord. It's not in root position. And then we're going to go back to an F chord. Leave your top two fingers alone and just move your pinky up one. And that's your F chord. So this is called a chord progression. So we've got C, G, A minor, F. And get your left hand used to playing these. Now, let's go over what your right hand is going to do. And this, I would suggest you learn the right hand by itself, and then you can add your left hand in. Now, every single note in the right hand is labeled. This is not middle C. This is the C above middle C. So this is the C you want to start your melody or right hand off with. And don't forget, your left hand is actually going to be down by middle C. So you're not going to have the room, okay, to have your right hand down here. So you're starting on this C. Now I'm going to take my left hand away and just go over the melody. And I'm going to go over it, you know, pretty slowly, just so that you can see what's going on. Now I'm going to take the four chords that are marked at the top of this page, and they're also marked right here. So these are called chord symbols, the C, the G, the A minor, it all matches what's up here, and the F. And it shows you again how your left fingers are to be placed and what you're playing. A chord approach may be new to a lot of you, but I think once you get it, you're going to feel really good. And it's a kind of a faster way to be able to play the Taylor Swift music or any music that you want to play.
Okay, so that's All Too Well from the Super Easy Songbook, Taylor Swift, second edition. I will leave a link as to where you can get this book. There's no page turn, simple right-hand melody. The letter names are inside each note, and there's a basic left-hand chord diagram on every single song. So you always know what those chords are, and your right hand's always labeled. All right, I hope this helps. I hope you have fun, and we'll go through this entire book. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.